So in today's video, we are going to learn how to create this text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. And before we start our tutorial, I would like to tell you that my logo animation masterclass course is out now on Udemy. Link is available in the description, so you can do check it out now. And without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, and duration is 15 seconds long. And background color, I'm going to choose white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action to get this kind of grid. Now select your text tool and for the font, I'm going to choose Poppins. And let's type our first text. I'm going to type M over here. Let's select this text and press Ctrl Alt Home. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press V for selection tool and let's move this over here. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and let's move this over here. And let's type O over here like this. Select this, press V and let's try to move this over here. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, move this over here and let's type our third text which is V. Select this and let's move this over here like this after that select this hit ctrl d and let's move this over here and type e over here like this select this and let's try to adjust their position like this select all of them and let's try to adjust them properly at the center like this now select this e right click go to the create and choose shape from text like this and we will select this text over here like this now let's hide all of them and so we can focus on this one only in search option i am going to type path over here so it will show only path option and i'll create one keyframe over here zoom in a little bit go to around 10 frames create one keyframe and go to around 20 frames and create another keyframe now in uh, at the middle of this i'm going to select this keyframe i'll select my selection tool i'll select this point and then i can select this much area and by holding shift i'm going to move this thing over here or like this and select this keyframe hit ctrl c select this and hit ctrl v so it will paste it over here and during this time i'm going to select this much portion and by holding shift i'm gonna move this over here so if i hit play now i'll get something like this now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so if you hit play we will get this kind of animation okay now let's enable our o over here which is somewhere around over here now when this e is gonna come at this point i want this o should start animate so initially i'll move this over here then press p for position create one keyframe go to frame forward and create another keyframe and in middle of that press v and let's move this over here like this okay okay and then go few frame forward again and create another keyframe and in middle of that i'm gonna move this over here then select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so we will get something like this after that we will select this graph uh, let's go over here we will select this move this over here move this over here like this so we'll get this kind of bounciness over here okay now after that we need to animate this v over here for v we need to create one mask so i'm going to select my rectangle uh, tool i don't want any stroke so i'll delete the stroke and for the fill i'm going to choose red color like this and uh, we will create this kind of rectangle and edge of this rectangle should touch this e so try to move this over here like this okay hit you then select this shape layer move uh, towards this v select this v press f4 and let's choose alpha mask and select both of them and let's move this over here i want this thing should animate start from here 
then select this v press p4 position create one keyframe go few frame forwards create another keyframe and go to the start and let's move this over here select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and let's move this over here like this let's make this fit so we'll get something like this so if you see this animation now we will get this kind of animation now we have to do certain animations for this m so for that what we are gonna do we are going to select our pen tool this time i don't want any fill so i'll delete this fill and i'm going to choose red color for the stroke like this then uh, we need to create one stroke things from this e so i'll create one point over here zoom in a little bit go over here here and here let's try to create some points from here to here to here this okay so uh, there is one mistake i did that i want this one should start from here so i'll move this much portion over here with the help of this selection tool you can select those points and you can move them over here like this okay select your pen tool again and select this point like this try to adjust this over here let's select these points and try to adjust it okay like this let's select this uh, and now let's decrease the stroke width a little bit uh, the stroke width should be similar to this e like that and after that uh, we will go to the add menu and we will choose trim path like this go to the trim path let's make initially it should be uh, zero and let's move this over here let's create one keyframe at the end and one keyframe at the start go to around five seconds let's make this 100 and let's make this 100 and select those start keyframes and we will move them over here like this and select those keyframe and hit f9 so if you see this animation now it will look something like this and by holding alt i am going to adjust this timeline like this okay then after that go to the add menu and choose round corners like this let's go over here as you guys can see because of this round corners we will get something like this go to the round corners and increase the corners let's say up to 45 like this okay let's select this point and let's move this over here select this and this point and let's try to move this upward like this okay the motto of this procedure is that it should cover this entire m like this okay so if you see this now we will get this kind of stuff let's select this point and we will try to make it a parallel with this point okay so uh, if you see this over here it looks good but whenever it's gonna come towards this m the stroke width of this one should some increase so what i'm gonna do uh, go to the stroke options and we will create one keyframe at the stroke width hit page down button two to three times and what we are gonna do that we need to increase the stroke width so it should cover this m properly like this okay so if you see this now we will get something like this and at this point i'll select those keyframe stroke width i'll hit ctrl c ctrl v right click keyframe assistance and time reverse layers so the stroke width should be again same as this okay so if you hit play now we will get something like this and at this point i want this end should start to appear so i'll move this over here like this and now we will select the shape layer uh, and we are going to apply white color for it okay like this so we'll get something like this now let's select the shape layer again and i'm going to hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's move this over here hit u go over here and this time i'm going to delete those stroke with keyframes and i'll select this stroke and i'm going to choose black color for it and i'm going to increase the stroke decrease the stroke width somewhere around like this 
so if i see this thing now i'll get this kind of stuff okay okay so from this point i want this stroke which should end so i'll create one keyframe over here and at this point i'm going to make it complete zero like this okay and this last keyframe of the start should be also come toward this so if you see this animation now we will get something like this okay and press f4 select all of them and enable the motion blur so if you see this animation now we will get something like this now select this m and these two shape layers uh, and i think uh, it should start with around somewhere over here like this okay and select all of them press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as text animation and hit ok hit ctrl d to duplicate it select the second layer let's hide this first layer go to the effect and presets panel and apply find edge effect on it and simply invert it ok and make sure it should be in full resolution like this and if you see this animation it will look something like this okay and enable our first layer hit page down button two times i'll select this layer and i'll move this over here like this so uh, along with this animation we will get something like this so this is how you can create this kind of text animation press ctrl y to create another oh, sorry press ctrl y to create one solid background i am going to choose black color like this so we will get this kind of animation and if you want then you can right click create a new adjustment layer and go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect and simply double click to apply and you can swap these colors so you can create this kind of animation so I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. And if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos. I'll see you in my next video. Until then stay tuned.